welcome to a new reading vlog so i think this is going to be a weekend reading vlog but i don't really know so i have like two weeks off to celebrate my birthday so my birthday isn't until i think next wednesday i think um and yeah so i will hopefully be filming a lot of vlogs and videos for you guys over the next two weeks i have some exciting plans and yeah i just figured i would start a little reading vlog now because I want to so yeah today is friday the 17th of march and yeah we're gonna start a new video so i have quite a lot to unbox here and i have some reading updates and yeah so haven't been doing a lot of reading this past week i'm not gonna lie last saturday i think it was i did finish these three manga so i figured i'd quickly talk about them so i finished reading spikes family volume two i gave this four stars it was so fun really really loved it i love how on par with the manga that the anime is like it makes me so happy that it's literally exactly the same and like nothing's really changed um this is just such a fun funny wholesome story and i loved it i then finished harmony volume five which i gave four stars I'm just enjoying the story. I definitely do prefer the anime to the manga though, which is very rare for me to say, but it's definitely the case with this one. But I mean, it's still a really fun time. And then I finished Solo Leveling Volume 5, which is just one of my favourite mangas I've ever read. I love this so much. Every single volume has been five stars. Like, I'm just obsessed with it. I love the story. I cannot wait to get my hands on Volume 6. It's a little bit weird. It is technically out in the UK already, but it's not, like, officially released. But then, like, I can't seem to find a copy in English anywhere. So it kind of sucks. I desperately need Volume 6 in my life. I have tried to order it, but i've had no luck yet so i cannot wait to read the next volume and i'm just so excited for the anime to come out i don't know the exact date and i have seen rumors online that it's actually pushed back to next year now but i hope that it does come out this year like i'm crossing everything that it comes out this year because i need the anime in my life um but yeah i did finish this five stars amazing um and then my reading plans for this weekend are these three here so it's kind of ambitious because i will tell you guys in a minute what i'm planning for this weekend i have a very very busy weekend ahead of me hopefully but i do still want to try and read both of these so i would like to finish them so i randomly decided to pick this up earlier in the week i started this poetry collection in 2021 and i got like 14 pages in and then didn't continue with it i read i think two of mary oliver's poetry collections like the short ones before and then i'd started this and put it down so for some reason though i just picked it up and when i picked it up i couldn't put it down and i ended up reading a lot of it so i am over halfway in now i'm on page 146 and um, mary oliver writes mostly like kind of nature poetry like a lot of her poetry is about nature the beauty in everyday life and um, time life and death um her dog a lot and just things like that and my favorite kind of poetry for the most part is nature poetry or poetry i just generally find relatable and i don't know i just love mary oliver's writing so much so i finally picked this up after softy and effing it for like two years so here we are and i have a volume two and um, this is volume one of new and selected poems so yeah i have volume two which i will pick up soon but i've just kind of been tapping like lines that i like or poems that i like generally or ones i just found relatable so i'm just having such a good time with this and i would definitely recommend mary oliver's poetry if you're like me and you like nature poetry and just poetry about like the natural world and just life generally and finding the beauty in everyday life life and the small things then i would definitely recommend her poetry there is the odd poem in here that goes straight over my head and i know it has a deeper meaning but one that i cannot quite grasp and i do find that happens with poetry sometimes and i'm just kind of learning to just go with it and not think too much about it and just have fun so yeah anyways really really enjoying this so far i definitely do want to finish this poetry collection this weekend and then i am still reading daughter of nowhere by chris Broadbent. i just haven't been in the mood to read so i haven't really read this um, i'm on page 333 so i have about a third maybe less left to read i'm hoping i can find time to read it this weekend and get it finished i definitely do prefer serpent and the wings of night by chris Broadbent to this book this is the first book in a series though i have the other two which i will obviously be reading and um, this one's giving more four star than five star vibes i just feel like at certain times it does get a little bit not boring but it just doesn't grab my attention the way that that book did i could not put that book down there was constantly something happening whereas in like a part of this book i felt like i was reading cozy fantasy in the sense that it was kind of just like day-to-day -day life within the fantasy world rather than anything actively happening towards the plot if that makes sense so that's when i started to get a little bit uninterested but 
lot of stuff has happened and I don't really know how I feel about it so I'm excited to see where the story's gonna go though and to continue reading it and I am definitely enjoying this but I definitely know that I love Seven in the Wings of Night so much more and that world a lot more than this one but this is still really really fun I'm still really enjoying the writing and having a fun time so yeah I definitely do want to finish this book this weekend if I can find the time but we shall see and then lastly if I feel like reading some manga I'm gonna come back to Attack on Titan because I miss this world so I still am not up to date in the anime and I want to catch up with the manga more before I go back to the anime again I'm up to the anime episode where we are now in Mali so if you know you know but yeah I started reading this back in January I think it was so I'm currently on volume 10 and yeah this is where I got to the last time so I do want to finish this and get back in to the world of Attack on Titan again so even if I don't finish this this weekend make some progress with it so yeah that is my reading plans for the weekend my general plans basically are that I am making our spare room into an office one of my goals for this year was to finally invest in my kind of equipment for YouTube and Patreon YouTube and Patreon is a job for me as well as book selling is so I definitely want to invest in it more and obviously I just really really love it and I'm really passionate about it so I want to invest more time and money into it and one of the things I desperately have needed ever since I moved into this house is a decent workspace I am one of those people who needs a clean and good working environment to be able to be productive and motivated and I love my library room but I just don't like having a desk in my library room I don't know what it is and my library room because it's at the back of our house is very very dark and dull and I need like a bright and airy kind of vibe to be able to feel like I can work well which I know is probably like a bit weird but yeah like I like brightness and cleanness and tidiness and I just I feel like my library room isn't that it's just too cozy and relaxing so I don't want to work in there and I don't really have anywhere else where I would work in our house so I want to get out the habit of like editing in bed and like in my reading chair because I end up getting tired really quickly and just like stop doing it so I want like a proper desk setup and I want a better setup so that I can stream better and more often on my Patreon doing reading sprints because at the moment it's very uncomfortable for me to do them because I sit in my reading chair with my laptop balancing on loads of things and I have to sit in awkward angles for it to like get me in properly so I have ordered a desk and a desk chair which I'm most excited about because I've been using this tiny old reading chair I've had for years as my desk chair and my desk is like up here on me but I'm sitting like really low on the chair so my, like my back hurts so much from it so I really needed one for a while so I took the plunge I've ordered that I ordered a new and bigger desk and I'm gonna paint our spare room and put the desk and the chair in there and then I think for my birthday Jamie is going to get me a monitor which I'm so excited about because I have a MacBook as my laptop which I edit on and work on I thought if I get a monitor I can work so much better from there because the screen is so much bigger so I'm just going to connect my MacBook to the monitor I've ordered myself a new keyboard and mouse for it as well as a birthday present so I will be like using my monitor to be able to edit and then also when I do a live shows I want to get a webcam to attach to the monitor and use that and then I can also edit on my laptop whilst I do live shows which will be so much fun. So yeah I am hoping that I can do that. I haven't ordered a webcam yet or picked a monitor but hopefully I can get most of this set up this weekend and then obviously get the monitor for my birthday which will be really exciting and get it all set up and have like a really nice new setup and hopefully it will motivate me to work more and I'll be more comfortable and excited about working and I'm just excited to have like a little home office so yeah I will be doing that this weekend I'm gonna be building the chair and the desk and I'm also gonna be painting one of the walls in there so it's going to take a lot of time and work but that is my main plans for the weekend. I think I might also pop out to buy some bits to decorate the desk with and things like that. Um, so I don't know how much reading I will squeeze in but hopefully enough. I am aware that this intro is really really long but I did just want to like talk to you guys and tell you guys my plans. But now let's get into all of the unboxings. So I know my intro is long so feel free to skip this huge chunk of unboxings because yeah i have all of this to unbox so yeah if you are a bit bored i'm sorry um and maybe skip ahead to some nice b-roll but if not and you want to see what is in all of these boxes then keep watching um so let's just get straight into it this one was addressed to vanilla moon which usually means it's from a publisher or something so yeah let's have a little look it always makes me laugh when the address is vanilla moon <laughs> oh this is so cute 
god i saw this on twitter this is so exciting this is a proof of charming and this is by jade linwood it comes out in july this year look how cute this paperback is like i'm obsessed so there's the finished cover just there um oh it's nice and floppy as well so oh it has a little card in it so it says for fans of shrek you're joking <laughs> Oh my god. So it says, for fans of Shrek, John Tucker Must Die and The Princess Bride. John Tucker Must Die is iconic. Like, I was obsessed with that movie when I was a teenager. <laughs> like, like, I used to watch that relentlessly and I still have the DVD. Okay, the lighting's gone because the sun's gone behind a cloud and it's about to go really dull, so I'm sorry about that. This proof as well is so cute. I will link this down below in the description box because then you can go and find out the full synopsis because I'm not going to read it because this is just going to be too long. And it also came with these little goodies as well. I believe this is rose tea. So hopefully in this vlog I can use that, which will be really, really cute. But yes, I have these. This is so fun. What a good way to start this weekend. Okay, so next we have this Amazon parcel. And I believe this is a gift because I haven't ordered anything, I don't think. So I think this might be sticky tabs. Yes, it is. Oh, someone got me some sticky tabs, which is such good timing because I need some. I am always using these so fast. And I added these ones to my wish list because I haven't got any of this colour and I thought they were so cute. Oh, it hasn't come with a note. Okay, so there's no notes, so I don't know who this is from. It just has the invoice. So I'm not sure, unfortunately, who sent these. So if you were the one who sent me these sticky tabs, please let me know in the comments. But thank you so much. I am so grateful. Like, I always need more sticky tabs, and I've been excited to get some of these ones with these nice colours. So, yeah, thank you so much for the sticky tabs. Okay, so we have another Amazon package, and I think this one's also a gift. Oh, my God, it's a gift prop. Stop it. I literally just did my makeup. I don't want to cry, and I always get so emotional when I get little gift notes. Okay, so this is from Jade. Oh, my God, Jade. Thank you so much. So it says, happy birthday, Jodie. I hope you have a wonderful day. I can't tell you how much joy and comfort your content gives me. It's like chatting with a friend when I sit and watch your videos. Give the cats lots of hugs from Jade. Thank you so much, Jade. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. My mascara on my bottom eyelashes is not waterproof, so I need to like rein it in a bit. Um, but thank you so much, Jade. So obviously, I should probably keep this until my birthday. Should I keep it for my birthday or should I open it now? I'll keep it for my birthday. So this is a gift from Jade. So I'm going to keep it for my birthday because my birthday isn't for another, like, what day is it? So I say it's the 17th today. So my birthday is in five days. So I'll open this in five days. And I am going to be doing a vlog on my birthday for Patreon. So I'll be opening it in that. Um, but thank you, Jade, ahead of my birthday for that gift. That's so nice. That's so exciting. <laughs> Okay, so moving on, I have a Fairy Loot parcel, which is a pre-order, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, I think this might be the Marissa Maya one. Maya Maya? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't know why I pre-ordered this, to be honest. I think it's just because it was really pretty. I have the first one of these. I can't remember what it's called. What is the first one called? Okay, so I think the first one was called Gilded, was it? Was the first one Gilded? I think the first one must have been Gilded um, by Marissa Mayer. Haven't read it. I can't remember what it's about. But I pre-ordered Curse to go with it because I wanted the matching edition. And this was really, really pretty. Again, if I do not like these books when I read them, I will just get rid of them. It's not that deep. But yeah, I did decide to pick it up because I already owned the first one in the Fairy Loot edition. And this is gorgeous. So it's like black and silver. We have silver sprayed edges. So my desk and desk chair just arrived. <laughs> um, but I can't remember what I was saying. But yeah, anyways, this is really pretty has really nice end pages and it is also signed i think as well yeah so it's signed and this is a young adult series i've never read anything by this author before but hopefully i do get to this one soon so yeah i have this book <laughs> yeah so we have february's YA box so i'm gonna go through this super fast um so we have a from blood and ash mug which i love i've only read the first book really need to continue that series i already have a from blood and ash mug on my bookshelf with my books but this one i might actually use so i'll put this in our mug cupboard downstairs um so this is what it looks like if it wants to focus very very stunning really really like that it has like gold on it so yeah i have another mug you all know i'm obsessed with mugs so I'll never not be pleased with a mug. <laughs> so we have Snow Oak Pendant. I had the spoiler card. I forgot what the theme was. So the theme is morally grey. Love that. This is what the art card looks like. So this is a oak pendant. Oh, it's inspired by the Black Witch Chronicles by Laurie Forrest, which I have never, ever heard of. Yeah, I've never heard of that. But this is really, really cute. So this is what it looks like. But yeah, we have a necklace. Very nice. Okay, and then we have a 
pouch thing. So this is a pencil case inspired by these lamp delights by Chloe Gong. And it says, these stars incline us, they don't bind us. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Always love these. I always use them for makeup, for traveling, pens, pencils, whatever. I'll always use these. Very, very happy with this item as well. And then we do have, I saw a spoiler for this already. So I'm so happy this is in here. Um, so we have a art print that's inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart. So we have Evangelina Jacks. How freaking beautiful is this? Definitely going in a frame. Definitely going on my wall. I might put this in my office when it's done because I love it. Like, just look how beautiful it is. Stunning. Then we have our tarot cards of the month, which look like this here. So these are inspired by Spice Road, which was one of Fairy Loot's previous books. Um, so yeah, we have our tarot cards. And then finally, we have the book. I actually saw this book in work the other day. Um, so we have our letter from the author with some character art. And then we have this book by Rebecca Schaefer, which is City of Nightmares. Um, and this is really, really pretty. So I can't remember what this is about. I think I did look it up at work when this book came in, but I can't remember what the synopsis was. Um, but this is what the full cover looks like. A very gorgeous of the color scheme. Then we have our end pages with some character art, which looks like this. We have some gorgeous ombre suede edges. I really love those. I'm sorry, this is really, really quick. Um, um, it is signed, loving the skull as well. I really do like that. Ooh, hello. Oh, is that a pet redactyl? Okay. <laughs> so is this got dinosaurs in? <laughs> what? Um, so yeah, we have this very cool design and it's like textured, so I do like that. Sorry about the motorbike in the background. Um, but then we have, not, is it peridactyl or pterodactyl? I might have just said that wrong, I can't remember. But we have a dinosaur, so I mean, I'm here for it, dinosaurs, yeah, okay. So I'm not gonna read the big long synopsis, but I will see if Fairy Loot has done a quick little summary of the book. Our feature book of the month is Gotham Meets Strange the Dreamer, where a cowardly girl finds herself at the center of a conspiracy in a city where nightmares come to life. That sounds amazing. Conspiracy theories, dinosaurs, nightmares, give me it all. And the fact that it's like Gotham vibes, yes please. So very, very happy with this book. I love the cover as well. I just love the color scheme. So yeah, that is our fairly February box. And now let's quickly move on to the last unboxing, which I think is a Lumacrate's March box maybe? Or is this their February one? I really do not know. This is February's box. Theme is Into the Fire. I feel like this intro is so chaotic. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, let's quickly move to the items. So we have a zipper charm. So it's inspired by Breeze Pendant from Legend Born. So I haven't read Legend Born, but I do own it. This is so gorgeous. I love it. It's like a dragon pendant. So this is what it looks like. Ignore my disgusting nails. They really need done. Um, but yeah, it has this gorgeous little dragon. I would probably clip that to like my handbag or something, like my purse or whatever you want to call it. This box has a lot of good stuff in it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a... Shut up. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Shut up! Oh my god, shut up. I'm obsessed. I actually have tears in my eyes. Oh my god, because I got too excited. This is a book lamp. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I've always wanted. Oh my god. Okay, this is. I've just got lipstick all over my hand. I'm getting too excited. Okay, so this is even better. Oh my goodness. A Luma Cray. Are you kidding? And it changes colour. Oh my god, that lipstick on my hand again. Jodie stop. Calm down. Oh my god, my <laughs> this is so chaotic. I'm literally crying. <laughs> Let me just compose myself for a moment because I'm getting a little bit too excited and distracted by the rain outside. Like my brain is just yeah. Okay, so we have a book light, which just wow, but then my expectations were exceeded because this is inspired by Door of the Moon Goddess. It has a friggin' design on it, like an actual book. Are you guys like seeing this? Look at that. I need to change colour a minute ago. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is literally like my favourite thing ever. This is definitely going in my office. Like I'm going to have it like this I think. Like just sitting on the shelf like. Oh I'm so excited. It's so cute and it smells nice. I don't know why, but I like the smell. Um, so yeah, we have a book light, which I think this might be my all-time favourite Illumicrate item. I'm not even joking. Like, I'm really not. Like, I have wanted one of these little book light things for ages. 
or just something like this like a light thing in a book box because it's just something different and the fact that it's so beautiful as well like a lumicrate 10 out of 10 obsessed like i'm so happy with that and the fact that i'm gonna have it at my desk like it's like the perfect little decoration i needed for my new desk so i'm so happy oh my god and we have a freaking water bottle as well like are you kidding we have a water bottle inspired by the theme of the month which was i forgot what it was wasn't it fire something into the fire so let's see what this is i will never say no to a water bottle either so here we are oh oh it has a little oh this is okay i like this i'm glad that this has like a protect protective <laughs> protective cover on it um so here it is so it has this gorgeous flame design on but you can take this off and underneath it has this on it which says book two can be a star a living star to lighten the darkness leading out into the expanding universe and that is a madeline Le Engel quote i don't know if that's how you pronounce the name i've never heard of that author or that quote but i think that might be a new favorite quote i absolutely love that and i need to find out what book that that was from or movie or whatever i'm obsessed so this is what it looks like up close how freaking gorgeous i love this so much i'm going on two trips this month for my birthday so i can take this with me this is just so perfect i will be using this when i go away absolutely love that item as well oh my god and then we have a book sleeve are you joking well it's a book jacket and um, this is inspired by the poppy war um so this is what it looks like so freaking gorgeous absolutely love that art um so yeah illuminate this box like the fact that this box was like 20 something pound but like that would easily be like 15 pounds on its own probably the same for this and then the book like don't even get me started i've seen those for like 30 pounds so like this many items and a book like a hardcover exclusive book for like 30 pound with shipping how how can you how can you like ask for anything more like seriously i am just so obsessed by the way this isn't sponsored i pay for this with my own money <laughs> i just want to say like i am so impressed by this box like this box is absolutely incredible oh and the book as well i really wanted this book um and i don't have it yet so i'm happy about that so this is um the new amelie wen zahao book and this is called song of silver flame like night so we have an author letter here which is so cute. Hi, Frankie. We have a Lila as well. <laughs> Hi, Lila. Okay, so, yes. I think I was saying the original edition is stunning. Um, so here is the Illumicrate edition. Absolutely gorgeous. It has silver foil on it. It's so gorgeous. Like, I'm sorry, but... <gasps> the sprayed edges god seriously why like why do i have to get watery eyes every time i get excited like what is that about it's so embarrassing <laughs> okay right anyways may i present to you the most stunning spray edges in all the land like 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 i am obsessed okay right let's oh hello end pages hello oh i so want to read this book now just from the art like and it is signed oh okay they really did that because wow <laughs> This is one of the most stunning books I I own. I literally am so blown away by how amazing this book is. Like, seriously, I can't get over the sprayed edges, guys. I cannot. Back says it's a new epic fantasy duology inspired by Chinese mythology. I love anything inspired by mythology, especially Chinese mythology. So, yeah, it says in a fallen kingdom, one girl carries the key to discovering the secrets of a nation's past and unleashing the demons that sleep at its heart demons as well like are you joking i feel like crying and i don't know why something is not right with me today guys i'm just feeling like really emotional like i'm so freaking lucky to be able to have these book boxes to be sent books and gifts like why am i getting so emotional oh my goodness what was wrong with me i don't know i'm just feeling very grateful today <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me and i'm getting really excited which is also making me like 
my eyes water i can't even talk now um but yes yeah, so this book i am just i'm so happy with this and this entire box is incredible 10 out of 10 loved it so yeah like that was my very long intro to this vlog and my unboxing here is all of my goodies so we have some new books and a gift to open on my birthday very 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 excited about all of these books and feeling very very lucky right now um so before i make a further fool of myself i'm gonna go and tidy up this mess and try to calm down a bit and i need to start getting stuff done like i really need to start painting the wall soon but i don't know if we have any paint brushes bye for now we'll catch up with you guys later hopefully with a reading update or something bye <laughs> So it's been quite a while since I last of this vlog. I'm sorry if you can hear a loud sound. My laptop literally just sounds like it's about to take off. Um, but I wanted to pop on because I haven't updated this vlog since the last week. And that's because I have been filming another vlog. And also I've just been like really, really busy. And it's my birthday and I had such a nice day. And I do just want to say thank you so much if you messaged me, if you left me a comment, if you did like a little story on Instagram, like anything, wish me happy birthday. It meant so much to me and it made my day so much more special. So I really did appreciate every single comment and I'm very, very grateful for you all. So thank you. Um, but yeah, I had a really nice birthday and I have been reading. I'm doing a 24 hour readathon challenge at the moment. So I'm doing the timer method where I'm actually timing 
24 hours on my phone and seeing how many books I can actually read when I time 24 hours if that makes sense so yeah I'm currently doing that and I've finished three books so far so I'm just going to quickly show them you will see this vlog first before that one but I have finished Chainsaw Man volume 2, Attack on Titan volumes 10, 11 and 12 and then this Mary Oliver poetry collection which I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog have I? I don't know but either way I finished these and but I talk about them more in that vlog and then I'm still currently reading Daughter of No Worlds which I haven't made a lot of progress on and yeah that's pretty much all my updates so I just want to come on and say hi um yeah so this vlog I didn't really get to do what I wanted to with it but I hope you guys have still enjoyed it so far anyway um I am gonna end the vlog here because I I'm gonna be filming a new vlog this weekend so it's either gonna be a themed reading vlog for one specific book or like a weekend reading vlog I don't know which yet um, Jamie's taking me away for the weekend so I want to do like a cozy little vlog or I'll like include clips in my next weekly vlog or I'll film a dedicated reading vlog for a specific book um, but I don't know yet we'll see so yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here just because I don't think I want to include any of that into this vlog if that makes sense so yeah this wasn't really my usual kind of weekly vlog but I hope you guys still enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed all of the unboxings that i did and the b-roll and things like that i just hope you enjoyed the vlog um let me know in the comments how you're doing what you've been reading recently what anime or k-dramas you may have been watching if you have any recommendations please leave them below as well i love chatting to you guys in the comments about all of those things so let me know down below in the comments but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up if you did <laughs> And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a spring themed emoji in the comments because this video started off very snowy and I'm hoping now we're going to finally get some spring weather. So let's just leave a spring emoji in the comments. That's a manifest spring weather in the UK. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Anything I've mentioned will be linked down below along with all of my social media, the links to my bookstagram and my manga account. And you can also find the link to my Patreon and that's where you're going to find extra content from me such as a monthly buddy read, a monthly readathon, a Discord server, extra videos, extra photos, content, all of that, live shows. It's all over on my Patreon so I would absolutely love to have you there if you would like to join me there. But yes, thank you guys so much. I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!